It's blue. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. I am excited about today's product because it has been a long time since I've reviewed something from La Sportiva. And today we are reviewing the La Sportiva Lycan. Lycan, getting its name from either a werewolf that can shift back and forth between human and wolf form at its own choosing, or perhaps being named after the small community in Colorado known as Lycan. Honestly, could be either one of those. It's been a long time since I've reviewed a Lost Sportiva shoe on the channel. The Vertical K was one of my favorites from way back in the day. I actually ran my first trail big mountain race uh, on Mount Baldy in that shoe many, many years ago. And over the years, I've rotated through some Las Sportivas from time to time. Hell, I think I still have the Las Sportiva Cobras, uh, which were my climbing shoe in high school somewhere around the house. But with the running shoes, I, I often had major issues that just kept me from keeping them in rotation. Too stiff, too heavy, not really comfortable, too narrow. An example, the Las Sportiva Akasha, which some of the best athletes on earth, John Kelly, Jared Campbell, have used to crush some of the biggest events in the world, Barkley, Nolans. So of course that shoe has a stout track record, but for me, it just, it didn't work. So there just hasn't been a lot from La Sportiva that has tickled my fancy until now. The Lycan is a snappy, quick, responsive shoe built out of really good quality materials that you know it's gonna hold up quite well. It's sturdy, adaptive. Uh, it's got some really durable grab, which I like. Great for those fast and technical runs. Certainly took some miles to break in and get used to, but once you are there, it's fun. It even reminds me a bit of the Solomon Ride, which is one of my favorite shoes from last year. So that's a good thing. Like and really see these becoming a popular La Sportiva shoe. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. All right, as with all of my reviews, I am as open and honest as possible. I put the shoes through its paces and then come back and report to you about the things that I like and dislike. Today is no different. Let's start, as always, with things that I like about the La Sportiva Lycan. Fast. These are a nimble, responsive, quick shoe that benefit from a quick cadence and fast speed. Definitely feel good when you pick up the pace. The strobal board on the inside is quite dense, quite hard, and gives you that real nice snap when moving forward at a quick clip. If you're looking to race hard and don't need a ton of cushioning underfoot, these are gonna absolutely dominate. Build. As with almost every La Sportiva that I've had the chance to review or test, they are built like tanks. The Lycan is no different. The upper materials are quality, stitched together quite well and sturdily. The midsole and the outsole combine to make a really durable, bomb-proof shoe that provides you protection from above and below. So they're gonna work great on technical trails the world around. And even better, they're gonna last you a while. And finally, grip. So upon first viewing, I thought that the grip might be an issue. The lugs just aren't super deep and they are the La Sportiva logo. Anytime I see an outsole that is comprised of a logo, I worry that it's more style over substance. In this case, the outsole made of this friction grip rubber outsole material, really grippy, works quite well, especially up here in the Pacific Northwest where conditions can vary from day to day. From sloppy and wet roots and rocks to dry, buffed out single track, uh, the shoe does quite well in a variety of conditions due to a nice, durable, and uh, substantial outsole. All that being said, there are some things that I dislike about the Lycan. Let's get to those now. The stiffness. I've talked a little bit already about the midsole material being a bit denser, more responsive. This shoe leans heavily into that department. They're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. They're not gonna hold your hand and prance over a sharp rock and hot lava fields like you're floating on a pillowy cloud of goodness. It's just not going to happen. You'll need to be ready for these and certainly they take a bit of adaption if you're not already used to a more responsive shoe. Dense midsole, full rubber outsole, and that real stiff strobal board are going to give you that precise responsive feel that a lot of people like. Some people don't. So for me, great for shorter distances where you're not going to need to keep your feet in these shoes. Of course, we'll all know people that have run long distances in the shoe and swear by it. But for me, I prefer a little bit more a little bit more give. Build. Yes, I did mention that the build quality is fantastic and they're going to last you a long time, but that comes with a caveat. The upper is heavier. It's built thicker, so they're going to retain a lot more heat. They're going to be less forgiving for different foot varieties and not to mention the lack of drainage. Basically, with a build quality that, of course, is more protective and more durable, it's going to have some negatives as well. And finally, ooh, the dreaded B word, blisters. Unfortunately, the first couple of runs in this shoe, there's some stitching on the inside of the toe box on both sides that cause causes hot spots, chafing, and ultimately blistering. I don't get blisters often in shoes. When I do get them, I try to make note of them and make sure to relay that message to you. Uh, in this case, the first 
three runs or so, I got blisters on my big toes. In this case, it's not a fitment issue. It is the stitching and the seams that are on the inside of the upper up in the front of the toe box. Little things can do a lot of damage. But that, my friends, is it for dislikes for the Las Sportiva Lycan. Overall, it's a good shoe. So in conclusion, let's get into a little bit more finer detail. It's a shoe that I like going to for fast, harder efforts. I think uh, it rewards those who have a quicker clip, quicker cadence. If you're going out for a long, slow plod on the trails, you just need something with a bit more cushioning, uh, this may not be the shoe for you. Protection-wise, it's going to be great. Durability-wise, it's fantastic. But I can see it being geared more towards those that like to move a bit quicker. Breaking it down even further, uh, build quality, great. I, I think it's going to hold up really well. It's already held up quite well for me here in the Pacific Northwest in a variety of conditions. With that built-up shoe, you're going to get some of the negative qualities that I've already talked about. Comfort, these aren't soft pillows. They're decently comfortable, more precise and responsive shoes that'll definitely get you from point A to point B a bit quicker. Fit, they do fit true to size. Uh, I will say that the arch sits a little bit further back than I like, but with more wear in the shoe, which I highly recommend, it's getting more miles in the shoe first, that arch begins to adapt to where uh, my foot likes it. So the insole definitely takes some breaking in, uh, as does the midsole material. It is a more secure fit through the midfoot. I will say that the toe box is a bit narrow. I think that also contributes to some of the blister issues that I had, but make sure that you know that the fitment on the inside of the toe box could be uncomfortable with some of the stitching and exposed seams. Price, at $115, it's at that point where it, it, it could be too expensive, but for me, I actually don't mind that price point. I think you're getting a shoe that's going to last you a long time. Uh, anything from La Sportiva will certainly last the test of time and will hold up to all of the conditions. Uh, in this case, it's like a fine wine, where the more you wear it, the more comfortable it gets, because I love to wear wine. And finally, looks. I like the look of this shoe. I think it's simple. Black with blue and some yellow highlights. It's reminiscent of a Solomon, but it's a little bit more aggressive with some of the design elements. Overall, looks... I like them. So that brings us to our final criterion. Is the La Sportiva Lycan a buy, a try, or a why? Uh, this is going to be one of the shoes I highly recommend you try. If you can find a dealer near you where you can go try them on in the store, grab a pair. Of course, there's also links in the description of this video to Running Warehouse where you can get more info. You can get your own sizes, your own pair delivered straight to you. I highly recommend you at least give them a shot. If you're looking to go fast, move quickly over all sorts of rugged terrain, uh, these are a pretty damn good option. Thank you, La Sportiva Lycan, for making me moderately happy. And that, my friends, is it for today's review. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe to the channel. Have you run in the La Sportiva Lycan? In the comments of this video, I would love to know what your thoughts are on this shoe, uh, as does the community. The community loves to kind of source people's opinions, so uh, let us know what you think. If you haven't already, there's some social media links, links that will take you to other places uh, where you can follow me across social media. And finally, patreon.com slash the ginger runner. As little as a dollar a month, you get cool perks on the back end, as well as supporting this channel from the ground up. So please consider that. And that, my friends, is it for today's review. Uh, I hope you're getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Lots of fun stuff coming. Should be good. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.